At the end of this video, you should be able to Implement plan on fish raising Monitors growth and progress Keeps an updated record of growth and progress And expands or enhances one's knowledge of fish raising using the internet Fish farming is one of the biggest industries in the Philippines As an archipelago surrounded by many bodies of water the country is rich in natural resources, making fish farming suitable and viable source of livelihood for many Filipinos. Here are examples of fish for fish farming. Tilapia Tilapia is one of the most in demand in the market today. Fish growers both locally and abroad are focusing aquaculture efforts on tilapia because it grows rapidly. Tilapia can be harvested after 3 or 4 months of feeding. Milkfish It is referred to as the national fish of the Philippines. Milkfish or bonus is very popular for its milky taste. Milkfish requires no special kind of feed for its diet. Milkfish can be harvested after 7 to 10 months of feeding. Catfish Catfish resembles cat's whiskers. This fish has become a staple food for many Filipinos, especially in Tagalog region. Catfish can be harvested between 4 to 6 months of feeding. Fish raising as means of livelihood is like animal farming in many ways. Fish meat, like animal meat, is rich in protein and is a healthier alternative. Since the Philippines is a country surrounded by bodies of water, Many farmers or farming families choose aquaculture over raising animals on land. Implementing the plan of the family's fish raising project Implementing means putting into action what has been planned. Follow very well what you have planned for changing it in the middle of its operation may cause failure. Successful implementation needs control, suspension, and guidance in the care of the animals. Here are a few things to follow. Be systematic in raising and caring for your fish. Follow your schedule of work, including preparation of feeds, time for feeding, amount of feeds for each fish, bathing, cleaning of housing and surrounding, recording, immunization, actual weighing, recording of weight, and when to market the fish products and their byproducts. Use a chart to record the growth and progress of each fish. Have a specific period, weekly or monthly, when to record weight. The chart should contain the age of fish, date of weighing, and weight is taken weekly or monthly. To show progress, draw a line from the start of weighing to the current date. This allows you to monitor the progress of each fish. Monitor regularly the growth and progress of fish using the chart. If problems occur regarding the health and progress of animals, consult other experienced fish growers. Surf the internet to gain knowledge of fish racing and be updated on recent studies, researches, and technology about fish racing. Monitoring there are three important ways to do an implementation of fish farming. Regular monitoring, keeping updated record, and operation planning. With proper monitoring and guidance in the care of animals, you can be systematic and follow your schedule when to apply fertilizer and how much to feed your fish. Keeping an updated record of growth and progress. Backyard fish raising is presently become a source of family income due to its easy preparation, lesser expenses, and considerable income. Also, fish feeds available in the local market has increased enthusiasm of farmers in the rural areas. Most importantly, recording every detail of the progress and growth of fish farming must be done at all times. Here is the sample chart of the growth and progress of a milkfish. Expanding or enhancing one's knowledge on fish raising through internet. The internet is a good source of free information 
not only from local but international sources as well. This serves as an avenue to improve knowledge, ideas, and practices in the operation of any fish raising project. There are numerous agricultural websites dedicated to animal raising which aim to spread information to all who are willing to learn. Local and foreign instructional videos can also be accessed through video sharing websites. In the Philippines, there are farming cooperatives and associations willing to share new farming information and technology with those who are willing to learn. The government through the Department of Agriculture and other government and non-government organizations is implementing countless programs that aim to assist farmers in every way possible from training to financial, technical, and infrastructure development.